Hello guys. So in this video, we will take a look at KML files and how can we convert our shape files to KML or KML to shape files. Basically, KML stands for Keyhole Markup Language and it's a language designed by Google to create geographic data in one file using tags like HTML or XML. So here on this page, this is from Google and this shows you what KML and the documentation for KML, what tags used inside the KML file and samples for it and support so you can understand more about KML and how can use it. But as you know, like KML is, is very commonly used by uh, Google. So a lot of people use Google Earth or view uh, KML files on different platforms. Uh, like we have a KML viewer online as well. So we will take a look inside the KML file, see how it looks like from inside. And also we will open our catalog and do some conversion. So, so first let's go to our course data folder and inside of it you will see a KML folder. Inside the KML folder there is a KML file, it's a sample file. And when we open it in a notepad, you will see that it have tags inside of it and this tags contain the Latin long for the features, the attribute and place marks and other tags and each tag here have a name, have a meaning and this is the way the KML file is structured. And also there's another format for KML files is KMZ and it's exactly a KML file but it's compressed. For example like if you have a rare file or, or you have a zipped file, KMZ is the zipped format for KML files. So let's go to our catalog and see how can we convert a shape file to a KML. So when we open our catalog here in our KML folder, let's open the search window and search for KML. You will find that here we have a tool for layer to KML and KML to layer and map to KML. So let's start with the first one KML to layer. This one takes a layer type, not a shape file and not a feature class. So let's close it and we have here uh, the address shape file we used to do the address locator before. Let's create a new and go create a new layer. So here we will name it to KML and here we will choose our shape file. Let's go to our folder location. We will choose this shape file and say add and we will say OK. And then we have our layer file here. Let's use the tool layer to KML. We will, we actually can drag and drop the input like that. And the output will be in the same location as a KMZ file. As I told you, KMZ is a KML, but compressed. So here we will say, okay. And when we go to the folder and wait for the tool to finish processing, you will see a new file will be created here, a KMZ file. And here we have our KMZ file created for us right here. Uh, the way to view it, we can view it on Google Earth. So that's what I will do right now. I can drag it and drop it here on Google Earth. And you will see that the same data we have for the addresses in Texas exist in this KML file and show up right here. And when you try to uh, identify any point by clicking on it, you will see that the same data and the same attributes we had in the shape file exist here as well. And also there is another way to view this uh, KML file or KMZ file. There is an online KML viewer. So you can choose the file from here and open this file right here, say open. And you will see the data uh, show up in the location where it exists right here. And also you can click on any one and you will see the information for the attributes right here. So now we know how to convert a shape file to KML. Let's do the opposite and convert a KMZ or KML file to uh, a feature class. So we will go back to our catalog and we will do the opposite right now. As you see here, you cannot see the KML or KMZ files in uh, our catalog, but we can locate it by open KML to layer and we can locate our file and we will use the same file that we converted. And then we will convert the output location will be in the same folder we have and the output name will be this name. Then we will say OK. And what this will done, as you see here, we have the processing here. When we click on it, we will see how it goes. And if it succeed, it will create a geodatabase. Inside of it, you will see a feature data set. Inside of it, the points feature class that represent the KML file we created. If we click on it and we say preview, you will see that the, you have the same points and the same attributes for the KML or the shapefile. 
Also here we have the option to convert map to KML. So let's click on it and try to convert our California map. Let's go to our California folder. We will convert this MXD to KML and it will include all the layers inside this MXD. So here, this is output location. Let's put it in our KML folder and call it map to KML. We'll say OK. And here is the folder location. We'll say OK. And again, another processing. It will take a few seconds and then it should be done. Here it is done. Let's go here, refresh, and we will see we have a map to KML. If we put it in Google Earth, we will see that we have the same data we created for California, the freeways, the counties, the cities, and the city's points as well. All, all the data we have exists right here. Here on the left side, you can see the layers inside this KML file. You can see uh, that we can enable or disable to view any of them. And also at any time, you can right click here and say, save my places as, and it will be saved as KML file if you want to save it. So let's close this one and go back to our folder location. So here, as you know, like all the conversion happens through our catalog as a KMZ, KMZ, KMZ. If you open KMZ file in a notepad, you are not going to see all the tags and all the information as we see in KML. Because this is a compressed file, you see it as it looks like here right now. In order to convert the KMZ to KML, you can open uh, search on Google and you open KMZ to KML converter and all what you need to do is to upload your KMZ file. So let's upload this one and it will do the conversion and say OK. And here it shows you the layers inside this KMZ file. You can remove layers or add layers and also you see here the coordinate system used and we will say convert now. It will do the conversion and download the KML file for us. And it's saved in our KML folder. If we right click on it and extract it here, we will see that we have a KML file map to KML, the same one we converted right now. And if we open this one in a notepad, we will be able to see all the information inside of it. So if you have a KMZ file and you want to see the tags and you want to see what's inside the file, you need to convert it from KMZ to KML and then you can view it in any uh, notepad or any editor and you can actually change any information here if you know what is the tags and what each tag does. You can change any information here or you can look at any information or search for any information in this map file and you can uh, save it again as a KML and when you open it in Google Earth, you will see the changes take place. So that's it for the KML files. Now you know how you can convert KML to shapefile, shapefile to KML, map to KML and KMZ to KML or, or KML to KMZ. So that's it for this video. And if you have any questions, please contact me and let me know. Thank you.